This week we took 15 of our new recruits and we put them to a training course so that they could experience what a real hand-to-hand -hand attack is like. We created this fictitious scenario with a fictitious company called TheBazaar.com. Now, this company is an e-commerce retailer and our new consultants were tasked with having to hack this company, infiltrate the network and eventually reach one of their core servers which is in a segregated environment. So how did they do it? One of the methods they used, which is in this slide, was by phishing one of the users that works for the bazaar.com. So essentially they went through the process of creating a phishing email with a malicious payload. They sent it to the user. When the user clicked on it, their payload created what we call a command and control channel so that they would now have control over this person's workstation and they would have gained a foothold into this company's network. From that position, they proceeded to perform enumeration of the resources that they had around them. Now, this is one of the most important and critical parts of any attack. So they enumerated users in the network, they enumerated computers, they enumerated uh, policies, permissions, and they built a comprehensive picture of uh, everything that was available to them. With this knowledge, they started uh, probing different computers or different hosts in the network to identify vulnerabilities. For example, they exploited an old development server that hadn't been patched in a long time. By exploiting this server, they got access to credentials, the credentials that were reused on different workstations and servers, so they were now able to access more servers, and by moving laterally using different techniques, they were able to then get new credential material from some of the other hosts, eventually get into the privilege of a domain administrator, which is one of the highest privileges that you can get in a network. Now, this allowed them to completely compromise the corporate network, but the objective they had was within a completely different network. It was segregated from the corporate network using a firewall. So what they had to do from this position, they had to hack into the firewall by finding vulnerabilities, changing the rules so that the firewall would allow traffic into this segregated network, and then find vulnerabilities inside this separate network so that they could actually finally hack their target.